just realized that this is the wig that I had on when I did my first video. Same same wig from the first time, from November. <laughs> I see it. I promise you, I'm not crazy. But y'all be rocking with me. Y'all be rocking with me. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know what it is. So yeah, that is the look when I stand on the scale and it really has not moved when I know I've been doing everything and then I try to not to get a whole attitude with the scale myself and everybody else. <sighs> anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me again today. If this is your first time, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So yeah, let's just get into it. So where I'm at right now. Last time I was 30 pounds down. I was having some issues in terms of consistent weight loss. Not consistent, but it was like going really slowly. Has that changed since I've been on the 2.4? No. It has not changed. Um, if anything, I feel like it has been kind of like fluctuating a little bit. Um, I would go up a couple of pounds, then down a couple of pounds, you know, all the way down to like 35 pounds lost. And it's been over a month. However, if you look back through some of my videos, I was talking about inches versus pounds. And so I have to practice what I preach. I literally have to remember, okay, Sita, you're doing everything that you're supposed to do. You know, you're moving your body. Um, you're, uh, you, you're watching what you eat. I'm not counting, blah, blah. I'm not counting calories, but I know just from when I was just trying to get a gauge on what I was eating, I'm around 1,500 calories, give or take. I'm usually on the lower end of that. So I was thinking, hey, am I even eating enough calories? Which, oddly enough, sometimes if, like, say I had a burger and maybe some fries, because, uh, yes, I'm trying to live out here. I'm not trying to be eating lettuce every day. That's just not, no. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. No, definitely not doing that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put in the clip in here. Um, and show you what I ate this past weekend. I wound up eating the burger, but not really the fries because you know you still get full. And I had some water with it, but anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. Um, so that's what's been going on. Um, my weight, I feel I've reached a set point, and I did not know what set point was until I heard it recently. And I'm like, oh my god! Anytime you're having any issue and you hear something, you know that could be possibly the answer to whatever the issue is that you're having. Google is obviously gonna be our best friend. Google and then Reddit. If you've not, I've just recently joined Reddit um, and you can actually go in there and type in Wagovi and hear more um, about people's experiences, good and bad. So I think it's just you know another way to gain information and educate ourselves on what we are hearing. So. Set point, basically, um, I'll put something in the clip around here, um, but basically your body um, does not want to, or your body has settled into a weight that it feels that it's comfortable at, it feels like your body's being nourished at that weight, and really, it's not trying to go below that. Um, think way, way, way back, you know, our bodies obviously didn't want to starve, and so, you know, they were looking for food and all that sorts of jazz. So it's easy for your body to say, hey, I don't want to lose any more weight than this because are you trying to starve me? Like, what's going on here? Are we going to scare me? Like, what is, what is the deal? I'm, I'm, I'm not budging. So then you ask, well, why doesn't it stop when I overeat? Like, why does it let me do that? Well, obviously your body figures... I feel like your body and my body, like it's separate from us. And I'm talking about my body in the third... Just, just... 
Yeah, with me. Yeah, with me. Just stay with me. But anyway, the more fat your body has, your body's like, okay, we're not going to starve. Yeah, we're not going to starve. We're just, you know, feeding it and ice cream, all this other goodness. We're just feeding it and the body is pretty much happy. But when we're trying to do what we're doing now, get healthy, heart healthy, we want to feel good, we want to look good, then our body's like, we didn't sign up for this. We're not liking this. And then that's kind of where you get your set point, homeostasis, if you will. Okay. So if you're um, kind of at a plateau, uh, I feel like that's what I'm, that's why I am. I'm at a plateau in terms of the numbers on the scale. So that's why I'm not totally like, because I do realize that my clothes are fitting much looser. I tend to carry like weight in my arms and I've noticed that like jackets that I put on, you know, even if the scale hasn't moved much, like these clothes are noticeably smaller. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, it's like a saving grace. I'm like, okay, my body is responding to other things that I am doing. And the whole point of this, you know, not to get skinny because I don't want to be skinny, but I do want to be my healthiest and then my strongest. So, um, for those ladies that are here and you are going through menopause or perimenopause, um, I think I mentioned in the last video, I think it was the last one, about the vitamins that I'm taking because that's something that, that was the initial reason for me starting it because I was just gaining weight and I don't feel like I was eating any more than I had been. So um, the uh, hot flashes have decreased and... Um, you know, your mood, you, ugh, I could do another whole video on all the things that happen with, uh, all the things that happen with, um, why can I see? Yeah, you get brain fog, <laughs> brain fog, um, sensitivity. At first I'm like, is this what me? Like, is this making me itch? Like, but then I just realized it's just another symptoms of, another symptom of perimenopause. But anyway, that's, like I said, that's another whole subject because a lot of you are aren't having those issues and then we've got some males here so welcome 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 um so they just want to kind of mention that what else um i said i'm not counting calories but i know i'm around 1500 per day i am using the fitness pal app and you know you can go in there and say you know this is my goal weight and this is how much i am now and it will literally calculate what you need to eat in order to lose one to two pounds per week so Yes. And another thing, so I recently switched employers and so my insurance, there's like, like a four week, four or five week lapse in my, um, my insurance coverage. So I know that they're going to pay for Wigo because it's the same insurance company, but like I said, there was a lapse. And so I'm like, uh, I was trying to stretch it out. And I'm like, I don't want to pay for this out of pocket because $1,500, $1,600, like, I'm not trying to do that. Um, so what I did was I'm like, well, instead of taking it every seven days, I'm just going to take it every 11 days. And let me tell you, oh, my God, I don't think I should have did that. And I've only did it once. So, like, I'm scheduled to take it again tomorrow. I think I'm just going to stay on. I, I, I really don't have a choice at this point, you know, and I really wanted to share this with you because I know some of you have had that issue. So this is like, you know, making me, I don't want to say it's making me look because I was already looking just in case because everybody just, anybody can be in any situation at any time. This is a prime example. So um, anyway, let me, I'm getting off tangent. So I started taking it. I waited like 11 days before I took my next dose and it was like starting over at 0.25. I was a little concerned about that. I'm like, um, I've been at 2.4 for weeks now and this is the maintenance dose. Like why am I having, it? I didn't, I didn't understand that. So I was, the fatigue came back with a vengeance because I told you guys before that, you know, with me being on the 2.4, which is the highest dose and the maintenance phase, um, the fatigue had went, you know, went away and that's how I was able to start walking every day and, you know, working out more. Like I was just moving my body more every day. And so again, I was seeing results just not on the scale. Um, So that was a little, that was a little concerning. So it was like starting all the way back over. So I'm like, 
So would you, I mean, how would you even, my question is, how would you even go to get off of this, right? Like I, we talked about an exit strategy last video. So, you know, do you wean off? And that's something when I have my next doctor's appointment, I'm going to ask them because I really didn't see anything when I was researching, you know, do you just stop cold turkey? You know, I know it stays in your system for about five to seven weeks, like after your last dose. So I did come across that. Um, but yeah, that was something that was just kind of really interesting to me that, you know, it's like a four day delay. And my symptoms came back with a vengeance. I was exhausted and I was feeling nauseous and headache. I mean, my goodness, I, was, oof, I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I started having cravings. But I fixed that because doing this, you know, with Gobi, I was able to research certain things. And so it was like, okay, I'm craving salt because that was something I always crave. I'm like, Mm, maybe I need some more potassium. And so your girl went and got some electrolytes. Problem solved. Um, craving went away. So I was really happy that, again, educating myself and practicing what I preach. So, because I had a little chip bag, I threw it in my lunch bag because I'm like, I don't want to be stuck anywhere without a salt fix. And so I wound up not even really having to do that because I just increased uh, my potassium and some electrolytes and with, I don't, Nope, I don't have one in here. Um, oh, I told you guys I drink these. The, the bye, the bye. Is that an L or I? Bye. Yeah, bye. I drink these. Gives you energy, and then it's full of um, electrolytes. So that was that. Um, I did look into um, good good RX prescription RX good RX. Is it good? Good RX. I put it somewhere here on the screen because um, you know you can go there and buy um, medications with coupon you get it less expensive uh, and there's less ugh. you can go in there and get coupons for free um, and it will reduce the cost of your medication so I typed in with Govi no no wasn't in there I was like hugely disappointed I'm like Give me something. I even called my doctor's office like, hey, you guys, you got any samples, anything like that that'll hold me for a couple of weeks? But they didn't have that either. So my doctor's office is the one that actually told me to go to Good Prescription or Good Rx. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I just can't remember how. I wrote it down as Good Prescription Rx, but that doesn't make any sense because, because Rx is prescription, right? I'm saying Good Prescription Rx and it should be just Good Rx. Anyway, um, also, Wagovi well, is now approved in Canada, and as we all know, you can get your medications a lot less, a lot cheaper in Canada. I don't, that's, that's something for another day. But uh, when I looked into it, it's going to be like $300, $400 in Canada versus $1,500, $1,600 here in the U.S. What? How is this even a thing? But right now it's not on sale yet. Like it's not on sale yet. And you can only still get it by prescription. So uh, that was something that I'm just like, uh, okay. Um, anyway, those are the options. So right now um, I still have a couple of doses left. I'm still going to keep increasing my activity. Um, I'm hoping at for those of us that the insurance won't pay, it becomes available in Canada so we can get it from that point um, with the coupon plus with, I don't know if they'll, well, yeah, if they go to the Wagovi website, then that's something. Oh, uh, then I got this from Wagovi. It's this little booklet. And it's got the packet. This is like a little packet for the 2.4. And then there's, I thought it was a little cute little ink pen. And then this booklet here. And it's a, um, it's a journal. It's a journal. Journal, there's all that. Um, I don't know, I'm guessing just once you get the 2.4, you, you get this because... Um, there was something on here. Oh, yeah. 
this literally is about the 2.4 injection. So I, I'm, I'm guessing they just send this to everybody, which, you know, okay. Uh, oh, one thing I did when I was going through this, it suggests, we all know we use our arm, we use our belly, some of us use our leg, but it did say, like, if you're using any of those areas, not to inject it in where you have a, um, a stretch mark because I guess the, the, the skin there is a little firmer. Um, so be careful. And I'm like, that actually does make sense. So, um, I mean, if I can find an area that doesn't have a lot of stretch marks, I mean, just get it in between there, draw a line. I don't know. But um, I just thought that that was something that I should share. Um, I know you guys have been really active in the comments, so I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you all being very, and I, I like to say this, kind and courteous and respectful of each other. You guys have been sharing stuff. So, I mean, I really appreciate that. Um, I can't stress enough how um, overwhelming it can be trying to change your life a step at a time and being you know fully aware and then once we're aware of what we need what needs to be done um and then actively making that happen because people say well if you just eat a balanced meal exercise you can lose weight first of all stop it's not that easy I, do, ugh, I hate when people do that don't don't do that because you're not factoring in life events you know what i mean like you're not factoring in life events you know maybe you're having financial struggles maybe you're just struggling with your mental health you know you got you working two jobs like i just need to eat something and if going to mcdonald's and going on a dollar menu is easier then that's what i'm gonna do for the you know what i mean for the short term or just whatever but you know you really have to get in a good headspace um when you're ready to kind of change your life and for a lot of us that's not always the easiest case especially if you don't have a support system so you know sometimes we have to encourage ourselves obviously and then we have to encourage each other so that's why i really enjoy this community because we all are so encouraging to each other um and for that i'm very very thankful um another thing that i just want to make sure that i mention is um we got this we can do that. I mean, we got this. We can do this. Um, I'm working on a couple of things. I'm trying to do more of like a vlog style so I can kind of take you guys with me through my day and give you like real time updates on say if I'm struggling because there have been days where, man, I've gone two weeks and I've been like jamming and then something I'll get a hiccup and then I find like you know what I'm kind of tired like when I had to stretch it out for 11 days I was tired so I really stopped I really wasn't preparing meals as much so I was like okay well let's just order something let's do this because it was convenient so I still had to be mindful that I'm not gonna always have this in my system so right now obviously it's easy because Oh, I thought my camera went out. It's easy because, you know, we've got this tool. It's like, okay, you're full. But it's not going to always be in our system. So, you know, it's going to take more of an effort to um, make those decisions and listen. Like, actually, I'm kind of, I'm full, you know. But that takes time. Like, that's not an overnight, that's not an overnight thing. It's just... It's just not, you know, as much as as much as we want want it to be, you know. We see other people making these big, huge leaps and bounds, but then, you know, somebody in the comments will bring me right back to the reality. It's like, first of all, you can't do that. Like, this is how I'm like, oh, okay. Well, thank you for centering me again, you know. Thank you for this. I certainly appreciate it because I'm like, you know what? They are absolutely right. Um, you just want to jump by leaps and bounds but this is literally a journey and sometimes on a journey you take the wrong way like you go the wrong way you know we're encouraging each other maybe even encourage our family members our wives our husbands our children they see us kind of drop away get kind of a little sexy <laughs> then of course you know people jump on board and then that uh, community just grows and grows and grows but yeah i've rambled on enough but as always thank you guys for um, coming back and spending a little time with me here and if you have any questions make sure or concerns I sound like 
I sound like a letter from work, questions or concerns. If you have any information that you want to share, then please leave it in the comment section. Or if there's something specific you want me to cover in the next video, then also leave that in the comment section as well. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.